Hello family, welcome back and thank you for clicking on today's video. I am doing something I've never done before. I'm going to spray paint my lampshades and the base. I purchased these lampshades back in 2005 from Ashley Furniture. My decor style has changed over the past couple of years. As I go through this transition change, I want to take you guys along with me. Last year, I purchased this leather sectional for my family room, and as you can see, nothing match. I have a look that I'm looking for, and it's going to be for the modern contemporary style. Okay, I have everything all set up. I have this table that Mark has out here in the woods for me, and I went on and laid some construction paper down. I have my Lazy Susan. I can be able to turn it as I spray paint it. I protect the cords, so I push, see right there? I pushed it all the way in there, so when I spray, I don't miss any spots. I put some paper towel right there, because I am gonna spray this fixture here. I'm gonna get it black, because I purchased a piece that goes here, and it's gonna be black, which holds the shade. I have cleaned my lamps as well as the shades off camera. Everything is all nice and clean. The surface is ready for paint. I will be using Krylon in the matted black for the base and matted white and flat white for my lamp shades. I have also provided um, some pictures of the different paints that I will be using for my lamps. We're going to go ahead and get started with our very first lamp. I also am using the Rust-Oleum Comfort Spray Nozzle. I highly recommend it. Um, you know when you're using your forefinger trying to spray that little nozzle on the top, it really hurts holding that down for a long period of time. So I highly recommend if you can get one. I purchased mine at Lowe's and I think it was about $8. I had fears about painting my lamps and I kept telling myself, Shauna, you have spray paint so many other things and they turned out fine. Go ahead and spray paint the lamps. Why I am doing this is because I need a placeholder. These lamps are going to be placeholders as I continue to bring in the new items that I have purchased and I can see how everything will come together. So the new lamps that I am looking for, I'm aiming for a black base with a white shade or a glass base with a white shade. And I did see something and I'm going to go ahead and share the picture with you so that you can see what I'm looking for. I am sharing some pictures of a few lamps that I saw that kind of piqued my interest. They have a clear bottom with the white shade. I'm still looking. I do want to make sure that you are tuned in on my community tab. Please, I will definitely be posting um, polls out there. I'm going to start posting some pictures and I want your input as well. You are a part of this family. You're in my home each and every week watching me clean and decorate so why not help me pick out some of the items that will go into the home i just shared a before and after pic so that you can see what the black looks like up against the brown now i'm going to go ahead and move on to the lampshade i must say this lampshade took a lot of paint I had to put two different paints. So the first layer of paint, I used the entire can on one lampshade. And that was the matted white. And then once that dried, I went in with the flat white paint. I also had to paint the inside. Even though it was white already inside, I still had to paint the inside because I did take the lampshade, put it on, test it to see how it would look, and I still was able to see brown through it. And I put several layers of paint in there, but that brown is still going through. But 
it's okay it's going to work for now and as I said these are um, placeholders for me I will probably use these lamps somewhere in my home maybe in a bedroom I'm not sure but most likely that's probably where it will go in another bedroom and when I get the new lamps I can't wait but remember you guys will be a part of this whole um, family room the way that I'm going to style it and remember the look and feel that I'm going for is modern slash contemporary that's the decor I'm looking for and I'm trying to come up with a pop of color I'm not sure which pop of color I'm going to come up with but I'm um, I need your vote on that as well too so you'll see a poll coming out um, soon with a pop of color to accent the black and white that I have because I definitely have to have a pop of color in there this here is a picture of the matted white and now I am going over it again and I'm using the flat white to make that white really pop up and stand out and as I told you before the inside of the shade is white but I had to go back and paint it and we're almost about done with this part and we'll get into where I'll be adding the hearth as well as the finial to the lamp and get it all hooked up and ready to be used I love the way the lamps turned out. You can still see the original details and the craftsmanship of it. And instead of it being brown, it's black. I am loving the way the lampshade turned out. I am seeing a textured look on the lampshade. The paint, the finished paint, it just made the lampshade with this texture to it so it really turned out nice i didn't do it the paint did it so now it's the next day i thought i'll just allow these to dry overnight and what i want to do is go ahead and add some of these 10 inch hearth and I was going to paint the ones I had but I said no I want some new ones and I also purchased the lamp finia so I wanted to give it a new look and I think it's going to be perfect so let's go ahead and let's get started with um, putting these on it's real simple and easy it's not hard to do at all I purchased the 10 inch harp as well as the lamp finial from the at home store but I've also seen them in Home Depot and Lowe's and you can also check your local lamp store. Now if you've been thinking about DIYing your lamp shades and lamp base you can do it it's very inexpensive go ahead and choose your choice of color and make sure you take it outside that way you have the proper ventilation and just go ahead and give it a try and see how well it comes out sometimes it takes more than one try i did good on my first time i have been spray painting for a while so i felt comfortable even though i was nervous about it once i started painting it was just like I was in my own element, know exactly how to spray and you just take it. And I tell you that nozzle that I use really helps. Oh, 
If this is your first time stopping by my channel, I want to thank you and welcome you to my channel. I'm Shauna LaKale and on my channel you will find satisfying cleaning, home decor, home decorating, and I do some DIYs here and there. I would love to have you. This is your opportunity. I would like to extend a warm invitation to go ahead and click on that subscribe button and become a part of our family. I love the way the lamps turned out. I can see my vision. I'm looking forward to taking down all the old artwork and replacing it with new artwork. I will be decorating my mantle. I'm taking down the wooden curtain rods. I'm gonna add a new curtain rod as well as curtains. I have a new rug that I'm gonna place and I'm looking for new furniture as well. I can't wait to see this space come to life. I have a vision and I can't wait to see it. If you are enjoying today's video, please make sure you give it a big thumbs up before you leave. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.